Hi, today I'd like to show you this Mississippi Fred McDowell tune called I Gotta Move. It's a great blues classic, uh, unusual blues classic in the sense that it's only seven measures long instead of like a 12 bar. But one of the great things about it, if you're new to playing slide or new to blues or new to a cigar box guitar, um, you can play the whole song without going to any other chords. The background for the whole song is going to be, oh, by the way, I'm tuned to G today. G, D, G. The song itself is in D, the original version, so you would tune down to D, A, D if you want to play along with it. And you'll find that this is almost exactly what he's doing, except the melody, of course, is a octave lower because of our three string situation. And we're fretless, so we're just using the slide for everything today. And it's done in a call and answer format. And what that means is you play a lick and then you play a rhythm. Call and answer can also be a lick and then a reflected by another lick somewhere else. But in this case, it's reflected by the rhythm. So I'll show you the rhythm first. We're going to do the same thing in between each lick. And the rhythm is simply on the lowest string, open, three, open. That's it. But there's a bit of a feel to it. If you were tapping your foot and going one and two, that wouldn't sound right. One and two and three and four and, ah, uh, wouldn't be so good. So what it is, it's a shuffle. So the ands are swung towards the next beat. So it's like one and two and three. Ah, then we have a blues shuffle. That's the feel for the song. All right, so the first lick is zero, four, seven on the high string. And if you do happen to have frets, of course, you can just play those frets. And I like to slide into each of those notes. And then you play the little rhythm thing afterwards. Uh, if you have any trouble with your pitch, if you're new, there's a couple things you might want to do. Is uh, You might want to set up a tuner on your phone and just look at it. And make sure you're not, not sharp or flat. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to be you know, pretty close and your tuner will tell you how accurate you are. The other thing is, it's always good to mute behind the slide. If you've been watching a lot of these videos, you're probably getting tired of hearing that, but it's so true. Muting behind the slide keeps other strings from rattling and, and whatever. And the other thing is when you're playing a, a lick that's just on a top string like this, you can tip, I'll exaggerate, you can tip your, your slide back so you don't bump into other stuff that sounds clean. Anyway, back to the song. <laughs> Now lick two starts on seven, and it's seven, seven, zero, four on the high string. And you can put as much slide in and vibrato in as you wish to, or not to. You can go like that if you want, or and then the rhythm lick. And then we come to the most complicated lick in the song. It goes over two measures. Starts up on seven on the high string, and you play that four times. And then you play four fives. And there's a little rhythm to that. You still have that shuffle shuffle rhythm in there. And then it's seven, four, zero. And then you slide up to five. Now you can go from like three to five, but it doesn't have to be that exact. It's kind of like anywhere there. You just want the sound of the five and the sound of the slide going on. So I'll play that for you. And then we follow it with the rhythm. Uh, because that one's more complicated, I'll try to go real slow here. Hopefully I didn't add in any extra notes. And then we go to the next lick, which is open on the middle string, and then three, and then open on the high string, and going to four. Now that zero three is actually pretty quick. You can just go three if you're new and playing quick's difficult for you. And you put that lick in, and then up here on four, slide to open and then to end 
end the song, it's 3-5-3-5 three, five, three, five on the middle string. And then it repeats. Have a great day. Bye.